Happy Multicrow Monday if this is your first time here. My name is Millie and I love any makeup, especially shiny, shifty, and sparkly eyeshadows. And Multicrow Monday is a series I've been doing my channel for a while and I feature different multicroms from all different kinds of brands. I do swatches, swatch comparisons, tutorials, and anything and everything that has to do with multichromes. And today I have some more multichrome flakies, which I'm really excited. The only multichrome flakies that are in like a jar form that I've tried are from Dennis Myricks. Those are a little bit on the expensive side. They are $25. And I did do a video with the Danessa Flaky. And since then, I've actually bought the rest of them. I'm kind of obsessed with these gel flakies. So today, I'm going to be talking about the Shell We Makeup Flakies that they have. They did send these to me. So thank you so much for sending these to me. When I first saw these, I got really, really excited because these are $18. And they do have a 10% off coupon. And they are a China-based brand. So I was really curious to try these out because I was wondering how similar are they to the Danessa Myers. I do want to mention that it's actually a slightly different jar. The design of it is similar, but the Shell We is shorter and it's about the same width, but there is also 3 grams versus the 3.8 grams, which is in the Danessa Myricks. And then the lid is also different. Obviously, this one is uh, silver and it is taller. And there's also other products that Shelby has. And this one, for example, is the Forest Night Highlighter Palette. This is what it looks like. The packaging is really, really nice. And then here's the inside. Basically, you've got your different colorful iridescent highlighters. And these are beautiful from the shades that I have tried. Some of them seem a little bit more sparkly than others. They also sent me a bunch of their water activated liners. It looks like they are discontinuing these though. So they are going to be greatly discounted if, in case you were interested in some kind of split pan color stories which I think are cute and I like the idea of this because because I don't feel like I need a whole giant jar of one color water activated liner like that's just a lot and also I wanted to mention that these came packaged so cute they had them in this box and it says shall we make up forest journey and it's just such beautiful artwork really really nice little box and then the other products that they offer are liquid multichromes which also came in this beautiful box this one says astral journey and look at this artwork it's just so beautiful and these are so so stunning i do use these in the video mostly on the inner corner i put these are great to layer over darker mattes black eyeshadow etc etc to really get that home so i'm going to be showing some swatches as i'm talking through all of this and then there's only one shade actually of the flakies that is similar to Danessa Myricks. I'll put that up on the screen as I'm talking through it. But Shooting Star versus Whisper, which is from Shall We Makeup. It seems like there's um, a little bit of like difference in formulation of some of these. Some of these are, most of these are on the thicker side, while the Whisper shade seems to be the only one that's like really kind of almost liquidy. So let's get right into the three looks that I created with all these products. And then I will give you some of my thoughts at the end of the video. For the mattes, I'm going to be going in with my Blend Bunny palettes, the blends and the surge. Not sure yet which, but uh, I will mention it as I'm talking through the tutorial. Priming with the P. Louise primer. For the first two looks, I really want to use these two shades. So this one is like a orangey green, and then this one's got a lot of blue and purple. So it's going to be almost kind of sort of like a two-tone look. Going in with Remedy from the Blends palette, and I'm just going to put that right into the crease. I'm going to be doing a relatively simple look. I'm going to take this all over my lid, actually. Or almost all over my lid. And then I'm going to blend Wildflower just a tad bit, like right at the tip of where I put down Remedy. I just want a little bit of the yellow peeking in. And I'm taking Cream and Sugar, and I'm just going to put that right against there to help blend these out. Going in with Lush on the outer corner from the Serge palette. And it's just going to be deepening it up. I'm going to dip into Wildflower just a little bit. And going back in with Lush. I'm also taking a lush under my lower lash line. It is sticking down a little bit here. I'm not really sure why. I don't ever remember having this issue. Okay, I think I fixed it a little bit. I just really have to go back and forth on that line. So this actually looks a lot more pink when I open it and look into it. So instead I'm gonna go in with Unknown Plant 
which definitely has tons of green in it. Uh, this is just what that looks like, and I'm going to use my silicone applicator. This one's just from Sephora, and I'm just picking up this much for now. Oh, that definitely is really good at spreading it around. This one feels a little thick. I feel like some of the other ones from swatching didn't feel um, as thick. They felt like a little bit more liquidy. So I don't know if that's if that has to do, you know, with the formulation of each of these shades. Maybe it needs to be different. But I'm taking that right all over my lid, basically. I'm basically essentially doing a fa half cut crease situation. And now it's time to dry that. I'm going to use this liquid duochrome they also sent me in time lapse as my inner corner highlight. I really love these kinds of liquid shadows really just if you just wanted to use them for designated inner corner highlights they're just so easy to use there obviously they've got a doe foot applicator already on them you know let's take a peek at this shifty action second look i'm priming with the p louise primer again and i'm going to be doing a blue look on this side going in with a bubble bath from the Blends palette right into the crease. I'm gonna be using exclusively the Blends palette on this eye. Just really love the blues in this palette for this look, the tones particularly. The Surge has a little bit more of like a teal. So I wanted something more true blue. Though there are teals in here, but I just wanted some of these other brighter blues. Taking a chance and putting that right into the crease and blending it into bubble bath and just a little bit of chance and bubble bath mixed together on my brush going in with spellbound on the outer corner love love this blue so much and just slowly going to blend it out and backing on a little bit more and also bringing it slightly more into my inner crease. Playing in with bubble bath and just blending out the edges. I'm taking Spellbound under my lower lash line. Taking a little bit more bubble bath out here. Going in with Secret Angel. I'm gonna go in with less on this eye just to see because that's something, that's actually a lot. So let me see how much I can spread this out. And I'm not going to take it as high. I definitely think I took the other one a bit too high. But. I was thinking. So this looks really sheer. I feel like it's translating a little bit more opaque in the viewfinder. But I'm just going to add on a little bit more. In certain areas. And then on the inner corner I'm going to use um, their liquid multi-chroma eyeshadow in blue Aurora. This is so beautiful. This would also look great all over the lid. It's actually more like purple. Oh, that's so pretty. These are really, really sheer. So I'm gonna be using this highlighting palette and I'm actually gonna layer over this inner corner. Angel Speak, it's like a really beautiful iridescent blue. I wore this as a highlight in one of my previous videos. I think it was the Nomad palette, I believe, and it's so beautiful. It looks extremely smooth on the skin. I love, love this formula of that one in particular. That one actually looks a little bit like smoother in the pan, while some of these look like they might be a little bit chunkier, so I'm really curious to try some of the other shades on my face. So, so for the last look, I want to play with the liners. So I'm going to be using this dark purple and this pan is called Tender or Pan, I don't know what would you call it. So I'm just going to put, I'm going to spray a tiny bit of water in there. Literally the tiniest amount. You really don't want to put too much. You don't want it to be too watery. And you just really want to rub your brush in there. Get it to a nice consistency. Not too watery, not too thick. And I'm going to draw out basically where I want it to go first. I'm using the Sigma brush 
This is the EO6 liner brush. I'm gonna probably clean this up after. So just pretend that's not there. I didn't put down any sort of eye primer. Didn't really feel like I needed to for the liner if I'm just doing liner. So we're gonna see how that applies over nothing at all. And then I'm going to be taking this up like that. And again, we don't have to worry too much because I'm just going to be cleaning it up afterwards. So I'm going to take Iris and I'm just going to use the lighter shade in here. And I'm going to be using the C3 brush from Cacreaser and Melalops collaboration. Just mixing it on in there. Again, I want to get it to a good consistency. I think it's a little watery. And I'm just going to be trying to mimic what I did on the other eye. Probably not the right angle, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to be cleaning it up anyway because once I put the flakies on there, they're actually going to um, kind of liquefy the liner again, which is what I was afraid of happening, and it did happen, but it's fine. So I'm taking these Silent Night Flakies. And those are going to go over the darker liner. You'll kind of start to see that they are re-wetting the liner basically. So I want to work relatively fast doing this and really trying to stay within the lines. Coloring within the lines. I feel like I have come full circle. And if you go a little bit over, it doesn't matter. So, just taking it there, a little bit underneath. Whoopsie. Then, right across that way. And I think that's pretty good. So I'm taking Whisper. I didn't notice that this one is more liquidy than some of these other shades. I'm not sure if it's a meant to be like that or not. And this is basically what I'm going to be layering over this lighter liner, which is also going to get re-wet. So I'm going to be cleaning it up. But for right now, I'm just trying to fill it in. And I'm also going to take it and just pop it right in the center of the wing right there just for an extra little bit of lightness and sparkle there. Just a little bit more. And then I'm going to be cleaning that up so it's not going to be that crazy. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pinky and just a very little bit on my pinky and I'm just going to stamp it all over my lid basically. So you can see how that looks like just on the skin. It just really adds a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm also going to use it for my inner corner highlight. Again, just a little bit of sparkle. So here's the final look I put on the Topaz Lashes from by Melalops. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that I did look at the ingredients list for the Danessa Marks Chrome Flakes and the Shell Wheat Flakes and for the most part they have a lot of overlapping ingredients. The order is a bit different but they are pretty similar and kind of same thing as with the Shell Wheat Flakes, the Danessa Marks Chrome Flakes. Some of them are like super liquidy while other others are a little bit more like a thicker gel so it just seems like there's a little bit of inconsistency in the formulation. I'm not sure if that's purposeful or not. So overall, I really like these shades. I'm glad that these are different from the shades that I have from Dada Samarix. If I was to compare these to like a multi-chrome uh, look, I would compare these to the Deep Iridescent multi-chromes or the Gray Base multi-chromes from Terra Moons and then the other ones were from Cleona. I think that they basically don't have a black base, but they are a little bit darker. That being said, you have to go in with a little bit because if you put on too, too much, you will definitely get some flaking off, especially if you have hooded eyes. If you have hooded eyes, definitely would keep this away from your hood and really just keeping it 
on the mobile lid and only putting a little bit. Like every time I use these and I use a little bit of product, I have the best time with them. These are great for just having fun and adding a little bit more sparkle. I probably wouldn't wear these every day like if I was going to the office um, like I used to. I don't think I would like opt for these. I think I would maybe take a little bit and just tap it on the center on my lid if I wanted a little bit of extra something something. But otherwise, these are just so much fun to play with and I'm glad that these are $18 instead of the whopping $25. And because these are in a jar, like I always say, anything in a jar is going to dry out faster than if it was in a tube. So definitely make sure that you're keeping this little cushion that comes on top of it and you're really sealing these tight and you're not putting these anywhere where it's going to be warm or anything that might just really like aid the drying out process. Also, if you put on too much, they will accentuate skin texture just like any other flaky, but honestly, I am much more drawn to using these, especially with the ease of the silicone applicator than trying to like mix loose flakies and the loose flakies are flying everywhere. I recently tried playing with my loose flakies and it was just not a good time. So I'm really glad that this kind of product has come out in general because it just makes it so much easier and you can really play with them. Like I said, I just think they're really, really fun. I don't think you need to go and run out and buy all the shades, but if you wanted to just play around a little bit, I do recommend one or two shades of whichever colors you do like to wear. So let's talk about the water activated liners. I have tried a couple. Also, I wanted to mention I did already post a reel using the shade Burning Inside, which is a stunning pink multi-chrome. This one reminds me of Vermilion, but like in a chunkier form. So onto the water activated liners. I did use this also in my reel with the with the flaky and then I used um, one of each of these colors. Again, I like that these are in a split pan, but like I mentioned, they are discontinuing them to make space for some new things. So I'm really excited to see. I know that they have some pressed multi-chrome eyeshadows. Looks like there's going to be lots of fun, shifty, sparkly things coming their way. So onto the highlighter palette. I really love some of these shades. I love that there's like a nice variety of colors so you can really go like a little bit more on the neutral side or you can go and get like extra pop of color. I do feel like the uh, formula in here is a little bit inconsistent. I'm not sure if it's again meant to be like that or not because the shade Unstoppable is really not as sparkly on the cheek. It's actually quite like weird powdery. It's just it's a bit smoother versus some of these others just have a bit more shine such as Winter Wonderland. It's just super, super, super sparkly and shiny. I do think that all of these melt into the skin really, really nicely. So I am enjoying this and I think this is a cute little palette to have just if you don't have any highlighters like this yet and you just wanted to kind of have them all together in a nice little cute palette. Love the packaging. And on my cheek right now, I have the Love Me Back shade. And you can see just how glistening and shiny it is without accentuating the skin texture. So lastly, let's talk about the liquid multi-chromes. I have not tried these all over the lid yet. I have used them for the inner corner, under the brow highlight, and so far they're really beautiful. They actually remind me a little bit more in formulation to the Danessa Myricks Twin Flames because they almost feel like slightly oily, if you will, versus the Sugar Drizzle Liquid Multi-chromes, which those don't feel like that. They really just feel like wet. So I'm really curious to see how I will like these all over the lid. But again, this is a nice variety of shades. You've got a blue, a green, a purple, orange, and a pink. And these are just stunning as the inner corner highlight. And I do want to try these as highlighters because I think they would work really, really well for that since they are so translucent. So we'll definitely keep you updated. Just look out for some reels with some of these other products because I love playing with these, especially for my reels. So that's everything for this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in any of these products. Have you tried any gel flakes and what do you think of them? I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel. I would love it if you subscribe. There's so much multi content uporting my channel and much more to come. You don't want to miss out. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.